Mark, let, let's uh, go to you Good first. To be with you, Martha. What's your takeaway from this exchange, Mark? Yeah, if, if Democrats are looking at this video, they ought to be very worried because it's a further evidence of the fact that Hillary Clinton is no Bill Clinton. I mean, can you imagine what her husband would have done with that opportunity? He would have bit his lower lip. He would have convinced them that he, that he felt their pain. He would have connected with them on an emotional level. And he would have laid out specifically what he would, have, would do as president to address their concerns. She did none of that. She starts talking there in the clip you had there. She starts talking about uh, changing the way systems operate, allocation of resources, accuses them of not having an agenda mm -hmm. and telling them they got to come up with something that she can sell. You know, what Martha? does she mean? Yeah. She, she needs them to come up with something. I don't something know how she, she could have, I don't know how, you know, you think that Bill Clinton could have finessed this moment better, perhaps. Um, you know, Sanders has backed down group. O'Malley has backed down to this group. And Hillary Clinton, you know, basically got sort of uh, pushed back by this group a while ago. Let's let's skip forward and play the Hillary Clinton from a year ago when she said this. And she's perhaps been paying for it until this day. I asked her, what kept you going? Her answer was very simple. Kindness along the way from someone who believed she mattered. All lives matter. And for her, all lives matter, according to this group, is a form of violent hate speech, Robert, to say that all lives matter. Uh, so she's in a tricky spot with this group, but Mark all. says that Bill Clinton could have played it much, much better. Well, I, appre you know, I appreciate Mark's objective analysis of how Democrats should feel, but let's look at, let's look at the facts and let's look at this very unscripted, very candid moment, because mm -hmm. it makes me as a Democrat very proud, and I think all Americans should be proud when we see candidates running for president actually sit and meet. Sometimes it was tense, but it was a respectful exchange where Hillary Clinton spoke with them about being involved in our political process and engaging in our democracy, in our political system to seek, a re to seek achievements and to seek their goals. And very frankly, it would do the Republican presidential candidates a world of good if they had the character and courage to sit down with groups like that Black Lives Matter and learn what their agenda is, sit down with the lesbian and gay community while they're, instead of advocating legislation to discriminate against them and but limit they, their but civil Robert, rights. I mean, this group, was saying to her, this, this group was saying to her, look, you played a role essentially in your husband's administration. His drugs program is what put us in this position where we have too many African Americans incarcerated. No matter what she said, they said back to her, no, 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 you have to take the blame. You have to take Take the blame. Martha, she said, look, let's sit down, analysis. let's try to talk about this. Then they said, oh, now you're being condescending. Excuse I mean, me, Martha. I, I, let's what? understand this issue of mass incarceration is not a Democrat or Republican issue. You see organizations like the Koch brothers from the right wing and the Heritage I, Foundation Robert, I'm simply stand saying up that, and address I'm simply, this issue. I'm simply saying that, that is what the, that's what they were saying. That's yes. how they characterized it. But, but let's remember another moment here. But let, let's talk about political courage, okay? Right. And let's look at another moment here because many people look back at the sister soldier moment, which I know you remember well, of course. when Bill Clinton took a, a somewhat similar moment mm -hmm. and used it to turn around to members of his base and say, wait a minute. And this is how it worked. Let's play it. Last year, she said, you can't call me or any black person anywhere in the world a racist. We don't have the power to do to white people what white people have done to us. And even if we did, we don't have that low-down, dirty nature. If there are any good white people, I haven't met them. Where are they? Right here in this room. That's where they are. I know she is a young person, but she has a big influence on a lot of people. And when people say that, if you took the words white and black and you reversed them, you might think David Duke was giving that speech. Mark? Yeah, she, the difference between then and now is that in 1992, Bill Clinton was running as a centrist New Democrat who was trying to convince the mainstream America that he wasn't too left-wing to be president of the United States. Today, Hillary Clinton is running in a Democratic primary trying to convince the Democratic base that she is left-wing enough to be their nominee. She's running against Bernie Sanders, who's a self-proclaimed socialist who apparently isn't left-wing enough for the Black Lives Matter movement. So she's looking at this confrontation where these people are coming up to her, and they literally said to her, you and your husband are personally responsible for turning black bodies into profit, and she doesn't push back at all. And oh, the reason Mark, she doesn't get push back is because there's some facts. What you're no, saying is categorically the wrong she... and a complete misinterpretretion of that no, film. Not. Let's understand what was going the... on in this video. Re 
transcript. Uh, I did read the transcript, and I suggest you read that, not the talking points, because the reality go ahead, here is go ahead, she Robert. stood up. Uh, the reality is she stood up and spoke with this group candidly, unscriptedly, and she gave them, I think, her real passionate belief about being involved in the system. And the issues they raised are issues that are being raised from the right wing of our country. And by the Robert, let, Robert, let me ask you a question. D does this group, in your mind, in your opinion, deserve to be stood up to and pushed back a bit? Let me read you what they said. They say black lives matter. It is the most violent statement of love that you can do to say all lives matter. They say that is a violent statement to say that all lives matter. Yes, we understand that. It's true. But in this country, for the longest time, the United States acts like black lives don't matter. Do you believe that that any candidate should push back against that notion? I think, look, let's cut through, I, the, let's cut through the spin here. And let's understand these people and many African Americans <laughs> truly very, very deeply feel that they are not being respected and they're not being included and not being considered in terms of many aspects of our lives in the same way many other segments of our society do. Hillary Clinton had the character to meet with them and talk with them, and none of the Republican candidates do, whether it's so did whether Jeb it's, Bush. As a matter of fact, according to, Huffington so did Post, Jeb Bush. according to the Huffington Post, he didn't, and you can't name one other Republican. Oh, please. Oh, who, by the way, you how about meeting with yourself. the Hispanic community to counter with the deportation strategies the Republicans are putting out there? How about talking to the gay and lesbian community? How about standing up together with the black community against voter she, discrimination? laws. Right. The reality here is what Hillary Clinton did and what is very she important is, is bringing people together. And we see that happening we'll see in our it, society, not just amongst that. Republicans running All for right. president. Gentlemen, we got to go. Robert, she didn't bring uh, anybody together. She fumbled. Robert and Mark. Thank you, Mark. Good to, Thank good to you. see you both as always. Thank you, gentlemen.